Hey! So if you want to learn how to do this hair look, which is kind of like boho, but huge waves with a fringe or without depending on your hair, and this eye makeup tutorial, stay tuned! I often wash my hair in the evenings after I go to the gym, so after I wash my hair and put in my treatments, do all my stuff, my hair stuff, um, I will whip out my sun silk, will, can't speak, I will whip out my sun silk waves of envy, spray it all over my hair while it's wet, and this, what it does is it makes like kind of like a wavier texture in my hair. If you don't have wavy hair, I would suggest that you use this, and if you do, I have wavy hair too, and I still use it just because I find it gives me more, and it kind of adds to the volume. Um, I already brushed out, where is my, I brushed out all my hair with this uh, before starting because I don't want to put curlers in my hair when I have knots. While I have knots, it's just going to make the process more difficult. Um, and before starting this video, I went in with my uh, natural uh, bores, bristles, brush, round brush to do my my brow, brows, brows, <laughs> my bangs. Um, so yeah. But you can still do this look even if you don't have bangs. In fact, I think it even looks better. So now that I'm done explaining that, I also already put in some of the Silk Therapy uh, Serum by BioSilk just to add some shine to my hair before I start doing this whole curl adventure. And I'm going to be using my Infinity Conair uh, Hot Roller Set and this was like 50 bucks I think or something like that. It's really not expensive at all. Um, ugh. okay, and it comes with a variety of sizes of, uh, curlers from small, medium, jumbo. Can you tell? I really like the jumbo ones. <laughs> also comes with a bag full of clips, handy clips that go perfectly with the curlers. I mean, the little rolls. Okay, so now I'm going to start. Um... Yeah, you will need hairspray handy with you, as well as the curlers and the curlers clips and the jumbo rollers. And um, I'm using Gotta Be Style Tinny After Hours 24 Hour Laminating Shine Hairspray. Whoosh. That's what I'm going to be using. Because it has a lot of extra hold and, and I really need it. Um, so yeah. So now I'm going to start. Now, my advice to you is to start with the top of your head. It's obviously the easiest because if you start doing this and unclipping and all hair dangles everywhere, it's really annoying. Blah. No. So I'm going to look into my mirror and I'm going to start with the top. Um, I'm going to section on, off like, you know, about that much hair on the top of my head. I hope you can see, and obviously if you don't have bangs, your bangs would be included, your bangs, your non-bangs, everything, all the hair up to here, back would be included. I'm just going to twist this up on top, and I'm going to get all the hair at the bottom out of the way, so I'm going to take out elastic, I had a clip and elastic now, to get this all out of the way. I'll put it in a ponytail at the back because I'm going to deal with this later. Okay, now that I'm done that, I'm going to whip this off. And I believe I'm going to start this all with uh, my medium sized rollers because I want the curls to be tighter on the top. Because everyone sees the top, the top is the hot top. The top is the top. Yeah. So I'm going to start sectioning, sectioning off everything. As I go, I'm going to take a little curler, wrap it around. I don't tuck the end in until the very end 
because I want it to be like a sloppy thing. I don't want it to look like I sat here and worked on my hair forever. Okay, I'm gonna continue. So now that I look like a weirdo, I am going to take out what was in a ponytail. Put that away. Okay. And I'm gonna section from here down to the ear. And this I don't really care about if it's perfect or not. I'm gonna take out my jumble roller and I'm gonna do jumbo rolls. This is burning my face. Ow. <laughs> gonna do the same thing. Ow. On the other side. Kind of. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. And I know my end is sticking out, but I really don't care. Take out another one. Do the same thing. Not all the way up. Maybe I do care. Okay. Then now all I have is the back. I'm going to divide it in half and then do two steps each. So I'll do six. And put it up. Not to the root. Clip. I think I'm going to get up and go do my makeup. And then when I come back, this will all be done. So I just started taking out my rollers and I start at the bottom because it's easiest. And I made sure that the roller was completely cooled down before I took it out. And that basically just takes 20 minutes. And um, you saw that it takes two seconds to put them in. So this is the end result. And I'm going to do the top now. Starting with the one at the back. You want to take them out gently. Okay, so obviously my hair looks crazy now. What am I going to do? Now, the best thing to do is to just run your fingers through your hair. I would spray it first. prefer a natural wave to curl to big curls I still look crazy right? right it's huge so after combing out repetitively and really just trying to emphasize more volume rather than um, more volume and wave rather than big curls or just spiral curls. I've come up with this and it's, as you can see, a disaster. But that's because I put the small curlers on top and the big curlers on the bottom. Going to get my brush, going to back comb a little piece close to the front, make it puffy. Make a poop and pin. Crisscross two bobby pins. Black bobby pins. Go in with another two pieces. Pin that with a massive bobby pin. Massive massive bobby pin and instead of just a regular curl I've got some big voluminous 70's style hair um, I can go in with a curling iron curl and adjust curls that I don't like keep the volume in and this actually looks really cute with bangs um, I'm gonna show you pictures so yeah that's it thanks for watching bye